Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add a cookie consent banner or box to your Shopify store online from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the easiest way to do this is with the natively supported site builder for Shopify. And to get there, you first, uh, you guys would first want to set up your Shopify account. So as you can see here, I have a dummy store set up. And here's what the dashboard looks like. And once you guys are logged in, the idea is you want to get access to the site builder, like I said. And to do so, you would want to navigate to sales channels on the left-hand side of the screen and click on online store. And by clicking on this, you'll see a dropdown with a bunch of different options to choose from. So there's themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, and preferences. So from here, you want to select themes and you want to click on customize. So this will take you to this page right here where you get to manually configure each widget or section on your online store. So the idea here is you, you want to click on add section and you'll see that there's a bunch of different widgets to choose from. So the one that you want to opt for here, if you want to add a cookie consent banner for your store is collapsible content. So we're going to click on this one and you'll see that it'll actually pop up here. So as, as you can see, there's a drop down right here that you get to fully customize or add content to. And I should say that if you guys want to rearrange this and have the um, collapsible content shown at the very top, you could drag it, uh, you could uh, fix its order by simply clicking and dragging it to the very top, or you could have it set to the bottom if you don't want it to be too intrusive. So here you get to manually configure um, how you want this to come out. So we can do so by clicking on uh, this one right here and editing the um, the banner titles. So we can do something like, um, let's do uh, cookie consent or allow use of cookies. And let's actually delete some of these so uh, it's not too messy. So I'm going to remove this, this, and this. Let's actually wait for it to load. Here we are. Now, when people go to click on the drop down like so, they should have the option to allow or block cookies. Now, to do that, you guys would want to click on the icon right here. So there's this one. Have it set to none. And you'll see that it will actually take effect in a while. Or you could get more creative with how you want this to come out. So from the icon options, you can choose um, check mark or box or chat bubble or clipboard or whatever. And in the row content, contact form. And from here, you guys can manually configure how you want this to come out. So yeah, that's the video. So hopefully it helped you guys out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.